Hello viewers, welcome to the lecture on observability. We will see if a system is unobservable, then what portion of the state of the system can be observable. So, this results we will see in this lecture. So, let us consider a, a control system dx by dt equal to a of t x of t plus b of t u of t and the observation or measurement of the system is y of t equal to c into x of t. Here the matrix A is a n cross n matrix, B is a n cross m and C is a p cross n matrix and the state of the system x belongs to R n that means x 1, x 2, x n are the state of the system and y 1, y 2, y p are the observation of the system. So, uh, now we will see that if x of t 0 equal to x 0 is the initial condition of the system, then the solution of the first equation is written as x of t equal to in terms of the state transition matrix phi t t 0 as given in the equation 3. Then uh, the observation y of t is given by this expression. So, you uh, now we assume that the equation 4 is available with us that is uh, y of t is available from that is it possible to get x of t that is the question of observability of the system. So, actual definition of observability is given here. Uh, if we consider the system x dot equal to ax plus bu, the observability of a system is in terms of the Gramian matrix, observability Gramian matrix given by m of t0 capital T equal to the integral uh, given in the equation 5 in terms of the state transition matrix and the matrix C here. So, uh, let us see for, for example, the mixing problem, uh, let us say there are two tanks, tank 1 and tank 2 with uh, uh, salt water in both of both the tanks, tank 1 contains 100 liters of salt water, tank 2 50 liters and uh, there 3 liters per second is entering into the tank 1 and 3 liter per second is leaving tank 2 and 6 liter per second is entering from tank 1 to tank 2 and 3 liter from tank 2 to tank 1. So, they are circulating. So, uh, the uh, we have earlier seen that the mathematical model of the amount of salt present in tank 1, tank 2 can be written like this. If x 1 of t is the amount of salt in tank 1 at time t, x 2 of t is in tank 2 at time t, then the dynamical equation is written in this way, where u of t is the amount of salt entering per second. Uh, in the tank 1. So, if we, uh, so this is a control system. The observation here is uh, from tank 2 that is uh, y of t is x 2 of t. So, we are measuring only the salt content of tank 2. So, is it possible to get the information about x 1 of t that is the question here because the state variables are x 1 and x 2 the observation is x 2 only. So, is this system observable that means can we get the information about all the variables. So, uh, we will see uh, that the system is observable and the condition for observability we will see here. And from here itself we can also see that if x 2 is known then by substituting in the two equations we can get the value of x 1 also. So, the system is observable. So, in the second example here we have x 1 dot equal to 2 x 1, x 2 dot is 2 x 2 and the observation y is given by x 1 minus x 2. So, in this case if we convert it into the matrix form A is 2 0 0 2 the diagonal matrix and C is 1 and minus 1 if we compare it with the equations 1 and 2. So, from here the solution of the problem uh, is given by e to the power a t into x naught and multiplying it with c we get the observation y of t equal to c into 
e to the power a t into x naught. So, we can see that if the initial condition x naught is like a and minus a or both the values are same sorry a and a then it, it is very clear that if you substitute it here then we will get this implies that y of t is identically equal to 0. In this case because e power a t is given by this diagonal matrix multiply by a and a and multiply with the c matrix we will get uh, the value to be 0 for all t. So, for this initial condition a and a we get the observation to be 0 for all values of t, but the same observation will be obtained even if, if x naught is say 0 comma 0 then also we will get y of t identically equal to 0 if we substitute here. So, for two different initial conditions we are getting the same observation. So, uh, through this observation we will not be able to get the information about the initial condition uniquely that is what is uh, uh, seen from this example. So, this uh, example is not observable, this system is not observable. So, we will see mathematically what uh, condition. So, let m t naught t is the observability Gramian matrix given by this expression in 5. So, the theorem is the system 1, 2 here the equation 1 and 2 is observable if and only if the matrix M is non-singular. Now, using this result we can prove the following duality result. So, this previous result is valid for whether it is time varying system or time invariant system. Now, the same thing can be used for a simplified condition will be obtained for time invariant system that is autonomous system. If A and B are constant matrices uh, and x dot equal to Ax plus Bu is the system y equal to Cx is the observation and initial condition is given like this, then the corresponding dual system is defined in this manner. In the place of A we replace it with minus A transpose, in the place of B replace it with C transpose and C is replaced with B transpose. So, the given system and the dual system are considered. Now, we can show that if the original system that is the system 6 is controllable then the dual system is observable. Similarly, if the system 6 is observable then the six system dual system 7 is controllable. So, we get the duality theorem that is the system 6 is observable if and only if 7 is controllable and vice versa. So, for proving that we make use of the theorem already proved. So, let us first consider the system 6 is observable. So, if the six controls uh, if the system 6 is observable we get the condition m is non-singular that is uh, integral t 0 to t phi dash c dash c. So, the system 6 is observable means the integral given in the equation 6 is non-singular the observability Gramian matrix is non-singular. Now, we observe that if phi t t 0 is the state transition matrix for the matrix A, then xi t t 0 which is equal to phi transpose t 0 t is the state transition matrix for minus A transpose. This result was earlier proved uh, while proving the existence theorem for the solution of this type of systems. So, we can recall that result and make use of that one. So, the system 7 is controllable if this condition is satisfied using the uh, state transition matrix of the equation 7 that is minus A transpose using xi uh, matrix we write the condition to be integral t 0 to capital T 
xi of t0 s c dash c transpose transpose and xi dash ds it should be non singular so now from this two equation 8 and 9 we can see that both of them are the same equation because uh, xi of t t0 is nothing but phi dash t0 t so if you substitute here we get the same thing so both the conditions are same so the condition 8 is the a condition for the observability of system 6 and condition 7 is the condition for controllability of uh, the equation 7 so both of them are the same so this this shows that the observability of 6 implies the controllability of equation 7 similarly we can prove that the controllability of 6 implies the observability of equation 7 so from here we come to this conclusion using the kalman condition for autonomous systems the controllability of the system 7 can be written as uh, uh, is guaranteed under this condition rank of c dash a dash c dash a dash square c dash etc because the system has minus a dash for the state matrix and c dash as the control matrix so using this two we write the kalman condition now the same thing can be written in the uh, if you take the transpose of the matrix we get this expression so the condition for observability of the equation 6 the system 6 is given by this expression 10 so this proves the duality theorem through duality theorem we obtain the condition for observability of the system 6 here okay so now we will consider a system which is not observable in case the system is not observable then uh, how much of the state we can actually observe if all the states of the system may not be observable but some of the state may be observable depending on the matrices a b c etc so let us consider the system x dot equal to x plus bu and y equal to cx with this matrices a b c given by this thing if the system is not observable then it is not possible to establish the uniquely the initial state of the system or uh, it is not possible to get uniquely this st entire state of the system so how to observe sum of the state of the system possible so now we consider the equation y of t equal to c e to the power at into x not e to the power at into x not is the solution of the given system uh, 10 under the condition u of t is identically equal to 0 see the observability definition says that with the knowledge of y of t and u of t if you are able to find the state of the system so we assume without loss of generality the control u of t is identically equal to 0 if it is not 0 then we can do in this similar manner as we have done in this case here in this equation if u of t is not 0 then we take that information to the other side and then we can write the equation as y bar of t is c of t into phi of t t0 x0 so if a is a constant matrix phi of t t0 is nothing but e to the power a t minus t0 so ultimately we get so if u is not identically equal to 0 then from this equation uh, we take the integral the, the values to the left side finally we get y bar of t equal to c of t phi of t t0 x0 so if a is a constant matrix phi of t t0 is nothing but e to the power a t minus t0 so that is what we are getting here so here uh, without loss of generality we are assuming that u of t is identically equal to 0 so 
uh, with that we get y of t equal to c e to the power a t into x naught. We are assuming that the initial time is e also equal to 0. So, now if we multiply both sides with e power a dashed t into c dashed and then integrate from 0 to t 1, the final initial time is 0, final time is t 1. So, we get the expression in this form where m 0 t 1 is the observability Gramian matrix x naught. So, here if x naught is in the null space of the matrix m 0 t 1, because the system is not observable, therefore the matrix m is not invertible. So, the null space of the matrix m has some non-zero dimension. So, we get m 0 t 1 x naught equal to 0 if uh, this is in the if x naught in the null space. So, in other words we say that the null space of the uh, matrix m are the unobservable states of the system and the range of the matrix m is the observable state of the system. So, instead of using the matrix m we can also use the matrix v equal to c c a c a n minus 1 which we have seen earlier. So, if the range of this matrix has dimension let us say p, then the p dimensional matrix uh, the subspace of R n is the observable subspace of the system. So, now we can see that if the system is not observable then we can convert the given system into a canonical form like this and one of the portion of the equation 12 is observable and the second portion is unobservable. So, if the state space is n dimension then we can split it into two parts a p dimensional. So, if the observability matrix has rank r here then the r dimensional subspace will be the observable sp space and the remaining n minus r dimensional subspace is the unobservable space here. So, here the first system x 1 dot equal x 1 bar dot equal to a bar a 1 1 bar x 1 bar plus b 1 bar u of t that system will be observable and the second system x 2 bar dot etcetera given in this equation is unobservable system and the dimension of x 1 it belongs to a subspace of dimension r here because the rank of the observability matrix is r here. So, uh, the observation is given by y of t equal to c 1 bar x 1 bar. So, how this canonical form is obtained we will see in this uh, following. So, consider the observability matrix V equal to C C A C A power n minus 1 and we assume that the rank of this matrix is R which is strictly less than n here. So, we can select R linearly independent rows from the matrix V. So, let us assume that P 1, P 2, P R they are the R linearly independent rows of the matrix the remaining rows will be dependent on these R rows P 1, P 2, P R. So, the total of them the n mat n such uh, vectors which we collect here it forms a basis of the n dimensional space. So, we first de uh, we define a matrix P as P 1, P 2 where P 1 contains R rows P 1 uh, small P 1, P 2, P R and P 2 contains n minus R rows here and uh, the inverse of this because P is a non singular all the rows are linearly independent by selection as given here the inverse will exist. So, let us assume that P inverse is Q which is given by Q 1 block and Q 2 block. So, Q 1 contains R columns and Q 2 contains n minus R columns. Now, P P inverse is identity therefore, we will get uh, uh, if you multiply P into Q we get P 1 Q 1 
this one P1 into Q1, P1, Q2 and P2, Q1 etc. So, these are the blocks. P1, Q1 is a R, R cross R of uh, order R and P2, Q2 is a matrix of order N minus R and the remaining matrices are rectangular matrices. So, comparing that we get uh, it should be identity matrix, we get uh, the first block i is r cross r i matrix and the second i denotes n minus r cross n minus r matrix, identity matrix. And by comparing this we get uh, the expression P1 Q2 should be equal to 0 matrix and P1 it contains, P1 contains the rows of C, C, A, etc. They are selected from this matrix only. So, P1, Q2 is 0. We also get P1, A into Q2 should be equal to 0 because these uh, P1s are selected from this matrix and P1, A also will be selected from this matrix. We are just multiplying with A only. Similarly, C into Q2 also should be 0 because P1 contains rows of C also. So, some of the row linearly independent rows of C are available in P1 and that is orthogonal to Q2 matrix therefore, C into Q2 also should be equal to 0. So, from this we are infer we are getting the information of this three uh, equations. Now, making use of that one let us make a transformation x is our original state variable. So, P x is x bar. Let us take this transformation. If you substitute this in the given equation 10 and 11, the given equation 10 and 11. So, x dot is given by P inverse x bar dot. So, wherever x is there we substitute P inverse x bar using this transformation. And then taking the p inverse to the right hand side, finally we will get this equation x bar dot equal to p a p inverse x bar plus p b into u. Because p inverse was there in the left side, it, when it is taken to the right side, there is a p uh, coming in the second term p into b u. And when y of t equal to c into x and x is replaced by p inverse x bar. So, we get the equation like this. Now, p a p inverse if we calculate we will get uh, p inverse is q. So, if you substitute that one here we get p a into q is given by this expression and we can also see that uh, this is p a into q 2 this expression P a into Q 2 is 0. So, because of that this block will become 0. Similarly, C into Q 2 is 0 therefore, we get this expression C into P inverse here is given by these two blocks. First block is C Q 1 non-zero uh, columns and then C Q 2 is completely 0 columns. So, we get this expression and from here we get the uh, the value the result of the theorem. So, if you substitute P a P inverse to be this matrix and if you call this as a 1 1 and this is 0 the second block the, the blocks in the second row is a 2 1 and a 2 2 and here we call it as this C 1 and C 0 matrix. So, we get the statement of the theorem, we get the expression this one. If, if, we, if we take x bar to be split into two parts x 1 bar and x 2 bar, we get a 1 1 x 1 bar plus b 1 u and similarly x 2 bar is given by the two values a 2 2 x 1 bar plus sorry a 2 1 x 1 bar plus a 2 2 x 2 bar plus b 2 u that is from this expression. And then y of t is given by c q 2 x 1 bar and the second term is 0 into x 2 bar. So, we get the 
statement of the result as it is here and we can easily see that the first equation and y of t y equal to c bar x 1 bar this two system will be the observable system because of the rank condition which we can easily verify. So, from the unobservable system we can see that some states of the system is observable and uh, the r states are observable and n minus states are not observable because of the rank condition of the system. So, in this lecture we have seen uh, various results about observability and uh, some unobservable system and how to uh, get the information about some of the observable states of the system. Thank you.